Mr. Bean and Stubadu fly, bus of thirty three. Mr. Bean and Stubadu fly, bus of thirty three. Mr. Bean and Stubadu fly, bus of thirty three. Mr. Bean and Stubadu fly, bus of thirty three. Mr. Bean and Stub Butterfly, episode 33. Screw you too, Mom! What's up? See if you're ever on the show again. Next call, Hello. Yeah, what's that plant that blooms every 12 years? Is it for high and smells like hey, hell? Yo, I want to plant joke. one on my ex wifes lawn. It's called Amorphophallus Titanium. God, I love to say that. Amorphophallus Titanium. The sound of it gives me a red one in my khakis. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a Morphophallus Titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight-foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it seem so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I, I'll, I will try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Maurice. Oh, I'm here to help, sailor. Gardening with Maurice. Only on WCTR. Up next, it's Area 53 and Marvin Trill, broadcasting live from his trailer in the desert. A new planet found in space. Is it really a planet or a decoy put up to confuse us? Ghosts, time travel, and the flushing toilet. Which way did Newton's toilet spiral? And finally, are women made from sand? We explore deeper and get to the truth. I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. Hello. You're on the line. Yeah, hi. I'm a truck driver and listen to your show all the time. I see a lot of unexplained phenomena out there, especially in restrooms. I agree with you about the moon. We never landed on the moon. It's such a good fake. Remember, the Russians, our arch enemy still, I might add, them and the Australians and uh, some species of dog, they beat us into space. The only thing the Russians are shooting into space are hot dogs and monkeys. Kind of a Noah's Ark fast food kind of vibe. Hey, my dad, I could make a better space station than them. Uh, intriguing. I'd like to meet her. On the conspiracy line, caller, you're in Area 53. Do not use fluoride. It's evil. It made me kill my doctor. Why would we worry about a chemical that the government puts into the water? Animals can now be trained to fly, including several species of bird. Think about the military applications. Hello, caller. Hi, my name's Daniel. I'm really worried about... How do you feel about that? I knew it. Hello, Julie from Liberty City. You're on the line. Oh my ghost has been haunting my house! I need you to Always take off your Stand at the window, stand there for hours each night. Lure in here. Trapping rogue spirits is dangerous work, especially topless. Take lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for me? Next! Hey man, love the show. Before you guys can start seeing the bigger picture, don't be lying to you, man. The guys like you don't help much, you know. You're virtually one of them. Soon you know what I'm talking about. If people could please just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was laying in my pod meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector in San Garcia, why are you still listening? Because I was hoping you could explain these noises. What noises? God, not you too. Now think about the things we talked about today. Think, seriously think. Can it be real? Can it be false? We'll see you next time in Area 53. Uh, be careful out there, wherever you are. Curry in the tight end zone. Brought to you by Eris Pump Up Shoes. Because women love a winner, and winners wear shoes. Should we uh, start with the national anthem? Uh, yeah, yeah, screw it. Yeah, I got, I got too drunk last night. Just uh, play the opening music. Pump one, pump two. Uh! Welcome back to the Titan Zone! Now it's time for something really important. Fat men talking about games they don't really understand. Played by people they don't know. I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. What a great year it's been. Let's recap. Drug scandals involving preschool soccer moms. Ha <laughs> ha, woo! And, then, and who could forget we visit the greatest here he comes, he's in the shadows, there he is, is he gonna make it? Yes, he did! Ladies and gentlemen, 
What you have just witnessed is the biggest moment in world history. Who cares about a declaration of independence or a discovery of penicillin? You have just seen one man score a point. When the rest of the world discovers TV, you'll be able to see this. Wow, isn't that amazing? He did what he was paid to do. We love sports more than you. Love it or loathe it, let's talk about it. Stay in the tight and... Let's go to the phones. Yeah, the Wolves. Hey, Derek. My name's Jason, and I'm a Wolves fan. First time call. I can't believe you actually recommended we go to Barbados on our honeymoon. It was revolting. There were poor people. I live in Vinewood to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary plan. I love the Cali's man, but you know, this year, I'm telling you, they're going to need to score some points and get some yardage and win the game. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they got to start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. I wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be number one, you got to go for first Place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, too. Guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting prepared. Shoes were going on, feet, shirts were going on, the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they were going to play this death. game. If they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights into sports, dude. I love your show, man. Uh, I love you. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, great talking to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning state to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up. You know, to, to let your body then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time we can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that say support the team. Don't leave the game pee at your seat. Go into the phone. I'm a big fight fan. Love a bit of a punch up. Since my wife and children got taken into a shelter, my friend said, Chuck, you obviously love hitting things. So I've gotten into boxing. How about that fight between Gonzalez and Jackson? Well, there's one thing about boxing I always remember. You know, one man wins, the other goes home a loser. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downward. You gotta be shitting me. Hey, Derek Thackeray, don't shit on no one. But uh, I do like to piss on my seat and uh, at my seat, too. Not really on it, so stay out of the way. <laughs> but tell me, the five game, that ain't rigged, is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy going to take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Zebra Bar. Get the fever. I was always eating clutch, but I wanted to snack on something else. The front is white and pure. The back is dark and naughty. What about nuts? You'll love the nuts. God. Which side will you try first? Uh, Zebra Bar. It satisfies your exotic cravings, whatever they are. Put it in your mouth. It's a favorite show with serial killers and stalkers. Lonely Hearts is next. All through the sultry anonymity of night and some of the day, you're on Lonely Hearts on WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Or as I like to call it, we can't talk right. I love you all. I'm your host, Christy McIntyre. Let's go to the phones. Hi, Christy, my wife, and I love your show. Oh, thanks. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, no. Okay. Jenny on the line from Santa Maria. Hi, Jenny. How's your heart? Broken. Like my arm and two of my ribs. What happened? I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk, and he has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely. But he keeps threatening to kill me. 
Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phones? It's a big, lonely state out there. Careful on, Mary. I'm watching you right now in the shower. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why, or perhaps not. Brian from Las Venturas. Hey, dude. My name's Brian. I'm calling from Las Venturas. I want to talk about my heart. Why do men just repeat back what you say and never listen? Are you brain dead? Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. It's because my wife's been brain dead for years now. Oh, so sorry. I seemed all insensitive for a second there, possibly ruining my house. Remember, a heart can mend, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless he makes you a widow. Hello? Yeah, hello, Lonely Hearts. Uh, I was just calling up there because I was guy? listening and I figured out you know that I can help out some of y'all. This is none other than Jizzy. and sent his heart to him in an envelope. He liked it so much, he told the police and even the newspapers. Then I burnt down his place of business, and now I have a special surprise for him. Oh, you have a great week. Isn't it really beautiful? From the wild traveler. Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcoholics. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was discovered. Our founding fathers grew to battle. Relax them. And you're so against raising taxes. Smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, why don't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs? Bring well, that way we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say You Say. Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world the whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize on my land. Just want to say thank you. That's from Quality Broadcasting. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. All this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to have... Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Ugh, why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses, and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous mm -hmm. with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history mm -hmm. or cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young. 
Very foolish. Mm. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? An intellectual cesspit. A middle class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. He was a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. I, I wanted to sleep with my mother. Now that I've done it, I don't want to anymore. Incredible! But, you know, it works. That's inversion therapy. Fear it, face it, do it, conquer it! Got it? Just listen again. Yeah, okay. I was terrified of my children being harmed, so I stabbed them. Didn't hurt me that much. Yeah, now I'm not afraid of anything. That's another life saved! Woo Inversion therapy works! I know. When you take your fear head on, then it's time to move on. I'm Darius Fontaine. Call me today. I'll change your life. Promise. Call 1-866-FACE-FEAR. Next up on WCTR, the news. We try to make it interesting and not depressing. This is Leanne Forget, WCTR News. Foreigners are coming. Who are they and why should we care? The FDA warns shampoo is killing your unborn child. Plus, protests continue outside the Zebra Bar Candy Company. Now for traffic and transit with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns. The aftermath of the devastating earthquake continues. Travel is still severely restricted statewide. Official toast. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drug trade, while like others bitch, blame the DJ. fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian monsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up with him. Thing about Mad Dog is, think about becoming a superstar. I mean, you know, I've done everything I could do in the rap game. I want shit hands down. Nobody can handle me, you know? Lifetime champ, no shit. And I say shit. Oh, hey man, it's cool. That's cool. Okay, no shit. I got clothes, I got labels coming out, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing drinks, I got shoes, tires, rims. Thinking, you know, next stage is being a full on superstar, you know? Get to wear a tight suit, nail a lot of tail, you dick. You know what I do in real life? You gotta get me a drink though right now. I'm thirsty, you know? What a troubled man. Sounds like he should lay off the sauce. Also today, a Tourette's theater group banned from the park, unless they take up mine. And finally, in foreign news, a suspected U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to right-wing guerrillas, causing a major incident. But we plan mostly to gloss over the implications and hope you enjoy some sporting activity tonight. The State Department is advising against foreign travel. This was Leanne Forget, WCTR News. Let's be careful out there. Look at that! The Hendersons are getting a new fence! Ah, who cares? They're swingers! I want a new fence! We just got Don't one two years ago it. after your parents were killed! Still? I want How a new fence! That's it! We're here. never having sex again! Need a home loan fast? At the American Bank of Los Santos, we'll help you get the debt you need to make life easier. We'll show you how to look richer and be poorer. Your home is wrecked. When people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent toilet 